Here in the St. Louis area, our rental market tends to slow down in the colder months. People don't want to move during cold or bad weather or uproot their kids in the middle of the school year. But there are some really good ways to make sure your rental doesn't sit on the market all winter. My name is Daniel Holmes and I'm the broker and owner of Key Winter St. Charles Property Management. Before I get into some of these really great tips, I first wanted to take a look at a few quick numbers from this past year in 2020. Looking back on the last 12 months, as I expected, from December 2019 through February of 2020, they had the least amounts of homes rented. June and July had the most houses rented. Um, I found all this information in our local multiple listing service, the MLS, uh, which of course does not reflect properties that weren't listed on there. Um, so January of this past year had the least amount of inventory with 179 houses leased and July had the most at 260 and what a difference in days in market. January's average is market was 43, July's was only 30. That's over 40% difference in days on market. Um, the numbers don't lie. Renting in the summertime is way better than renting in the winter, but if you're stuck renting in the slower time of the year, there are some things that a landlord can do to help move your rental property more quickly. And first off, what you wanna do is price it a little bit below the competition. Offer a larger discount and your property will move more quickly. Each day the house is vacant, it's costing you money. So it makes sense to price it a little lower than you would if it were summertime. Um, that way you can get a tenant more quickly. Taking $50 to $100 off the monthly rent and getting a tenant in 30 days sooner is gonna save you more money over a year's time. Um, the other thing you can do is allow pets. Our properties lease over two times faster if the owner allows pets. By not allowing pets in the winter months, you're narrowing down an already small tenant pool. Um, and pets that just don't create a lot of damage. On average, it's typically minimal enough that the security deposit would cover it anyway. Um, and third, make sure that the house is in tip top shape. Um, you're not gonna have as much interest in the slower months, so you're not gonna have as many showings and you wanna make sure that the showings you do get count. Uh, make sure it's cosmetically up to par, like fresh paint, not too outdated. Make sure it's clean. Um, you maybe want to take that opportunity to kind of spruce things up a little bit. Um, and for the market, market right the first time. Um, you only have one chance to be new on the market. Um, so make sure that the property is showcased to its best ability. Um, don't just adjust your ad a few weeks later and decide to add pets later on down the road or paint later on down the road. Um, and lastly, market on the MLS. Um, consider listing with a realtor or property manager like me um, that lists on the MLS. That way you have exposure to over 5,000 other real estate agents. Over a third of our listings are rented over the MLS. Um, so now that you have some landlord tips on getting your rental property leased quickly in the fall and winter time, it, there's a little more advice I wanted to give you. Um, get your property on a better cycle. It's so important to do what you can do to not have a vacancy in the slower months. Um, so market yourself out of that cycle by offering a minimum lease term that puts you in a better time next go around. So don't do a one year lease like November through February. Have your lease set up to do 15 to 18 months um, that way it expires in a more ideal time of the year. I usually do um, at least through March 31st and then, then you're just put on a much better cycle. Um, and the other thing is tenants don't care that much. You know, they don't want to move in the winter anyway, so you shouldn't have to twist arm too much to get them to do that. Um, I hope this all helps as always if you're looking for leasing and property management services in West St. Louis County or St. Charles County, I would love to help. Um, and we're always here to answer any questions that you have. 636-707-2000, reach out at any time.